Hey everybody, I'm on my way home from the post office and it is a rainy, dreary day in Pennsylvania, but that's okay because rather than going to the baseball game tonight at PNC Park, I'm going to open some fan mail. So let's check it out. We're going to start off with Big Jim Breyer and Ooh. see what he sent us. Olivia is still awake, so she's down here. Say hi, Olivia. Hi. All right, inside here we have some... Looks like probably packs of cards and a letter. And the letter says, I want to thank you for getting me back into the hobby. I have not looked at my cards since 2008. After watching your YouTube videos, I became hooked again. Not quite ready to buy any boxes yet. The prices are unreal. But I have plenty of wax in early 2000s and stuff to keep me busy for years. My claim to fame is my relationship with Dizzy Dean. My mother and Pat Dean were close friends. This was when Dizzy was still doing color on week, week, weekly baseball games. As a young man, I mowed their yard, and later I would take Dizzy bird hunting. He was a very good shot even in his later years. At first, I thought I would send you some early 90s stars and rookies, mostly Pirates, but I heard you say you had plenty, so I've included mostly early 2000s rookies and some of your favorite uh, players and a bro pack. And a little something for Olivia. I believe you're a great father, a good person, and a great role model. And it says, James Jim Bryan. Thank you very much, uh, James. It says there's a few Spanish cards. Also, if you want to send me something, I want a John Watham card or anything brave. Some Looney Tunes cards for Olivia. There you go. Oh, I love Looney Tunes. You love Looney Tunes? Here's a yes. bro, pack, bro pack for my brother. The past is alive. We'll put that over there in the corner. And then we have some rookies from the 2000s. I don't have too many rookies from the 2000s. I wasn't collecting at all. Um, so a lot of these guys, I don't have their rookie cards. In fact, I don't think I have any of these. Dan Ugla is a pretty good one. He had a nice career. Let's see if there's anyone else in here um, that I need. Um, Dom and Young had a few good years. And here is an Eric pack with an Andy Van Slyke on the front. That's an Andy Van Slyke 89 Don Russ. I like that card a lot. Van Slyke was one of my favorite players growing up. Cool stuff there. Thank you for those. And last but not least, we have this pack. Snip it open and see what we have. And here we have some more rookies and some more rookies. So several rookie packs. We have Hardy Narrow. That's an outfielder. Daryl Hamilton. These are pretty cool. These are... Um, Shortstop, we have a pitcher card there, Lanzador. Shortstop, Alan Trammell, Terrence Gore. These are cool for those. Levy's, uh, what are you doing, Levy? Cutting up um, a piece of um, plastic there, making a mess. Got some more rookies here. Ramon Troncoso, I like this guy a lot. He was the first guy that I ever played catch with in a Major League Baseball game. He came out one day. He was waiting for his throwing partner, and his throwing partner was running really late. So I was like, Ramon, you want to throw a little bit? And I was in the um, handicap section, and me and Ramon Troncoso had a nice um, catch for about five minutes, just throwing the ball back and forth. Really cool. So I will always remember Ramon Troncoso. Probably most of you don't, uh, Wait, but he always he has like? a special place in my heart. Ramon Troncoso, you played catch with me. at a Major League Baseball game. So thank you very much, Jim. Our next package is from Joe, Joe B. Uh, Joe B just had a few spots in the break. I just got all his stuff packaged up and shipped out today. So thank you, Joe, for participating in the breaks. I know he's a big uh, Yankees fan. It says, this is my sixth entry into your amazing Fan Mall Friday series, and I look forward to many more. You've built a strong community of baseball fans and collectors, and I've been encouraging people to subscribe, including a few of my son's friends and even my elderly mother. Well, I wonder where the subs were coming from. Thank you very much, Joe. She doesn't understand all the content, even though she lives in New York, 30 minutes from Yankee Stadium. She thinks Rivera, Posada, and Jeter are still on the team, but she loves the family-friendly friendly dynamic and says I should give her a granddaughter just like Olivia and Elsa. I know you like 70s cards and rookies, so I included a few sweet ones, including a Griffey Sr. and Eckersley. My favorite current non-Yankee is Christian Yelich, and my favorite player growing up was Don Mattingly. I have multiples of all the Mattingly's 80s cards, but I was hoping you had some oddballs or new Donnie cards, such as his Diamond Kings and some sick Yelich cards you could send me, the sicker the better. 
My first ballpark trip other than Yankee Stadium this year will be to Milwaukee as soon as school lets out in early June. And the Brewers are playing the Pirates. I don't know if I'm going to be there or not. In early June, I probably won't be there. If you happen to be there, let me know. I might actually. Cheese fries and taco salad will be my treat. Plus, hey, it's Milwaukee, so we need to get uh, Bratwurst as well. All right, Joe, I don't know if I'm going to be in Milwaukee or not, but um, Milwaukee is one of um, them. I'd, I'd say it's in my top 10 to 15 stadiums. I, I, do, I don't mind that stadium. I like Milwaukee. Remember we went to Milwaukee like two years ago, just me and yes, you, Libby? That was yes, fun. I loved that. We got a Ken Griffey Senior Outfield card there, 74 rookies. That's a nice one. I needed that one. My brother got that one at a flea market not too long ago. Then we have a Bill Madlock rookie card. Dennis Eckersley, rookie. That's a good one. Dennis Eckersley, rookie. Check it out, guys. 76 tops. Sweet. Also, 77 tops, Dennis Eckersley. Back-to-back -back X. And a Dennis Eckersley graded PSA 883 tops. Those are nice cards. Thank you very much, Joe. I hope we can run into each other at a ball game sometime this year. Whenever you come to PNC Park, let me know, because I will for sure be at those games as long as it's not raining. Next, we have Famous Memorabilia and Sports Cards submitting a package. And this one looks like it's wrapped up super well. So give me a few minutes to open this. And inside... Oh, look at this, Livy. Whoa, look at these. Yay! They're Sports Talk cards. Remember you have that Sport Talk player? We did a video about yes. a month or two ago about the Sport Talk player. And I gave Olivia a bunch of cards to listen to. And uh, now you have a bunch more to listen to. You can learn all about these guys. Like George Brett is a really good one. Tommy Lasorda, Jeff Rear. I used to call him Jeff Rear End when I was a little kid. <laughs> Jeff Reardon. Juan Samuel, Kevin Bass, Rick Rushel, Wade Boggs, Oral Hershiser, Burt Blylevin, Ryan Sandberg. That's a, I don't never had that one. That's a cool one. Don Mattingly, Ricky Henderson, Ron Guidry. Dave Winfield, Tommy John, these are my favorite, these ones. These had some all-time great calls, like the uh, Hank Aaron call, Johnny Bench, Joe Morgan, Willie Stargell, Harmon Killebrew, Billy Williams, 1975 World Series, greatest World Series game ever played, Reds and Red Sox. Oh, this is awesome. It probably has the call of the uh, Fisk um, home run in there. Yeah, Carlton Fisk, dramatic 12th inning home run. This is amazing. Checklist. Livy, you can go listen to those right now if you want to. Mm, I'll listen to them once it's my bedtime. You listen to them at bedtime? Okay. Yeah. We also have... That is awesome. Those are kind of hard to find nowadays. I never really see those anywhere anymore. I also have a stack of cards and top loaders here. Flashbacks. Richie Ash, Ashburn, Don Larson, Robin Roberts, Hank Aaron, Willie Mays. Got a number, Dustin Pedroia, an autograph card here from Jonathan Crawford. We we'll also have a Liam Hendricks rated rookie autograph. That's a cool one. A Jamil Weeks autograph. Also a Johnny Bench and a Fernando Tatis Bowman's best. Bo Jackson, uh, 87 tops, 90 tops. Frank Thomas, Ken Griffey, and also a Tom Glavin, 88 tops. Very, very nice. Just the notes. In here, we have a note that says, thanks for the entertaining videos. And it says, hey, Jabs, I hope the package and letter finds you in good health. I recently became a fan of your channel about two months ago. I saw the video when you got your daughter the sports talk. So I hope these 28 sports talks cards are enjoyable for her. Yeah, those are awesome. I'm going to have yeah. to listen to those with her. I'm also going to include some cards for you to enjoy. I'm from Northeast Pennsylvania, Scranton to be exact. I'm a huge Yankees fan. I collect Mantle Judge address down there. I think I might have showed that, so I'll have to uh, edit that out. It says, I'm also on eBay. There's his store, Famous Memorabilia and Sports Cards. Check it out. I'm always updating it. Thank you very much for all that stuff, Frank. That's awesome. And it looks like Olivia has something that she made us, a little stamp there that says, Best. What's that say? Best Dad. Best dad. Thank you, Livy. Next up is this one from Brock Alfer. Inside we have a pack of cards. It looks like a self-addressed stamped envelope. Here's the note. It says, I love your channel so much. You keep me entertained for so long. I'm 14. I live in Washington, D.C. and would love to give you these cards. There's a lot of Pirates cards. I would love it so much if you could send me some cool Nationals cards. Anything would be awesome from you. And Juan Soto is insane. Keep pumping out your vids. And thank you so much, Brock. Here's where he sent, sent a... Um, John Candelario, 
is a nice one. Relic Patch, Greg Bird, Rookie Card, Josh Bell, Miguel and Duhar, Goose Gossage, 83 Fleer, Cervelli, Polanco, Ken Griffey Jr., 92 Fleer. That's a cool one. Joe Musgrove, Garrett Cole, McCutcheon, and Dickerson. Thank you very much for those, Brock. This next one is from JB's Sports Cards. JB's Julian Bach, big Mets fan. Long time subscriber to the channel. And Julian sent us some cards, it looks like. And let's see what he has in his note. It says, uh, hi, this is JB's Sports Cards. Sorry I haven't sent in a while. These are just some random cards. Nothing, um, not really any junk wax, but some cool cards. You can show my P.O. box in the video. So if you'd like to send JB's cards, um, some cards. There's his P.O. box, 719, Notley, New Jersey. All right, let's open these up and see what is inside. First pack, we've got a Bo Jackson, Vladdy Guerrero Sr., Ian Kinsler rookie card, Jose Altuve, Ozzy Albies, Ian ha uh, Happ. There's a Doobie Herrera, <coughs> Zach Wheeler with the blue border parallel. A couple other uh, rookies there. Kingham and Brothers, nice posy gold. Juan Gone rookie card, Bieber. Victor Robles, there's a Carlos Lee, El Caballo with Mike Lowell. And Andrew McCutcheon, green border from Gypsy Queen. We already know Andrew McCutcheon. Guess what? There's this little substitute teacher named Miss McCutcheon. Oh, yeah? I wonder if she's related. Probably. Next pack, we have Ozzy Albies, Sammy Sosa rookie card, Walker Bueller. Always like getting Bueller cards, Nikki Delmonico numbered card, and a Barry Bonds. One of my favorite cards of all time, the 87 Tops Barry Bonds. Love Barry Bonds rookie cards. Thank you for that, JB. And our last one, stack of cards here. Let's go through them and see what we have. Nice selection of cards from different eras. It's a nice, some people like Chris Sabo around these parts. Gary Sheffield rookie card, Andy Pettit, Derek Jeter. Clint Frazier rookie, Alex Verdugo rookie card, Tyson Ross rookie, Byron Buxton, Andrew Benintendi, and Cody Bellinger. Thank you very much, JB, for those cards. Really appreciate that. If you guys would like to send JB some cards, just um, rewind and pause the video on his P.O. box and he'd be happy. Um, to receive those, I'm sure. This one is from Aaron McCloskey. Let's check it out. Nice and uh, easy package to open there. Hello, my name is Aaron McCloskey. I'm 17 years old and live in Clearfield, Pennsylvania. This is my second time sending you a package for Fan Mail Friday. I hope you enjoyed my last package with the Madison Bumgarner rookie card. I hope that you enjoy all the cards in here. The next package I send you will have some of the through the mail autos I've gotten. If possible, could you send me any current Pirates players, no matter what year or team they're on? I don't have to cover that. Keep posting your amazing content, and let's go Bucks! Thank you very much, Aaron, for um, the note. And also, the cards has some Topps coupons there for packs that you can buy in a store. It's pretty awesome. They've got a Zimmerman and Jonathan Scope. Some old classic best cards. From back in the day, I remember these ones. Stars at Color Delgado, that's a pretty good one. Cliff Floyd, he had a nice career. And here's all those cards. They were in sleeves. There's like four or five per sleeve, so I took them all out. So we can just shuffle through them and see what's in here. It's a 1980 Manny Moda, that's a nice one. Ricky Henderson, 81 League Leaders with uh, Mike Schmidt. And a Kevin Hart rookie card. He actually was on the Pirates for a short amount of time. Thank you very much, Aaron. This next one is from Dallas Pym. Nice little envelope here. Let's check it out. The note says, I'm new to your channel and to collecting. Your videos are really helpful and awesome. Uh, I'm a Red Sox fan, and I thought you'd appreciate this card more than I could. It's not much, but I'm building my collection. So thank you very much. Let's check it out. It is a Forbes Field Evolution card. For a second there, I thought it was Wrigley Field. And on the back, it's PNC Park now. And Olivia made this. 
Uh, so you've been working hard on this. It says best baseball player, Eric Jabs. Thank you very much, Livy. Put that with the other one that you made. And yes. thank you, Dallas. I worked very hard. Sure did. This next one is from Patrick Bowers. Patrick is a longtime subscriber on the channel. And inside there is a, ooh, Livy, you better come over here. Looks like there's some teeny mates. Oh, she came teeny running. Teeny mates. Livy loves teeny mates. Wait, why is it? They're what football teeny mates too. Football. Oh, and we got more stuff for you, Libby. Look, Pokemon. Whoa. And a, well, another Pokemon. Whoa, and another. And another Pokemon. What do you say, Libby? Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Patrick. Um, and Patrick also sent us some packs, these Baseball Inquirer packs. He sent us these last time. They're pretty cool. Some tops big. I think those are from 89. A few packs of tops big. We have a Sammy Sosa 300th home run commemorative card there. It looks like you can actually press the card and it, you might be able to hear the home run. Um, looks like it might need a new battery though, but still it's a cool concept, kind of like the uh, baseball talk concept. Another Inquirer one. We also have some graded cards here from Patrick. Let's check these out. Always love graded cards. The graded cards, we've got a Larry Walker. Nighty Bowman on top. That's his rookie card. Graded as a nine mint by Advanced Grading. Also inside, whoa, this is a really good one. A Peter Alonso autograph, Bowman Chrome. That might be the best card I've received so far in this entire Fan Mail Friday today. Peter Alonso is a, a, a beast. That is awesome. Thank you very much, Patrick. That must be, that's 2017 Where's Peter scissors? Alonzo autographed. That is awesome. Where's scissors? Uh, I don't know, Livy. Jeff Salazar, a 2014 Chris Bryant rookie card, gem 10 by Professional Grading Authority. That's awesome. I don't have that one. A Randy Johnson, 89 tops rookie, Jeff Salazar. Here's a Preston Wilson, gem mint 10 card. Ken Griffey Jr., 89 Don Ross rookie card. Here's an Upper Deck 2001, Carrie Wood. And it's autographed. Check that out. The autograph is graded there as an A. Check out the Carrie Wood. Nice in-person auto. A Mickey Mantle. Uh, I've never seen that card. National Baseball Card Day Mickey Mantle from 2006 Tops. And another Griffey Jr. That's awesome. I definitely have some people that have been asking for Griffey Jr. rookies, so I can send those along. Thank you very much, Patrick. That, this is literally probably going to be my favorite card of the day. Patrick, this is awesome. That one's definitely going in a top loader. Actually, I have some top loaders all ready to go as I've been um, sorting through the Bowman cards from this break. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Patrick. Everyone, make sure you check out Patrick's channel. It's Aspie for Baseball. He has a second channel. That is his name, Patrick Bowers. All right, here's our next package. The uh, name has been cut off, so I'm not sure who it's from. All right, we have some packaging stuff, an envelope, or actually it's a letter. The letter says, um, thank you for your videos on YouTube. Um, they are fun and keep me connected to a hobby that I've enjoyed for many years. I've collected cards off and on since 85, but due to financial limitations, it's been difficult in recent years. I recently purchased a hobby box of 2019 Top Series 1, and while I enjoy the cards very much, I was very disappointed that the quote-unquote relic uh, I received, it had been about 12 years since I last bought a hobby box, and I was looking forward to getting something excited. Boy, was I stunned uh, when my one auto relic was a manufactured retro hat patch of Aaron Nola. Sorry about that. that I really hate it when they do that, too. Well, he is a great pitcher. The idea is cool. The card design is nice, but it's a little bit of a punch in the gut. When you're one shot at a valuable card or hit in a box as a manufactured uh, patch. It says, enough complaining. In close, you'll find a small collection of recent cards as well as some autographs. A couple of autographs I obtained while at minor league games near me when I was much younger. Most of the others were obtained uh, through pack, packs years ago. In return, I'd like any Anthony Rizzo rookie cards or Cubs or Athletics autos. Let's see what we got here. There's the pack of cards. There's your Pokemon pack. Thank you. All right, here are the cards. We got some 2019 tops on the top. John Gray rookie card is in there. Mike Trout, love that card. It's a very nice picture of Trout going up the wall. 
Here's some here's some show codes. I'll let you guys use these because I am done with 2018, the show now. So whoever wants to take these codes, go ahead and use them. I'm on 2019 at the moment. Um, and my team really stinks in 2019, so I got to work on it. Here's a Ruddy Lugo authentic autographed card. Mike Glenn Denning, two of his. Say Rickert Fenite. Shea Hillenbrand. That's a name we can all know. Shea Hillenbrand. He played in the majors for a little while. Tonane Brown. Haven't heard of him. Paul Avery. Jesse Garcia. Vince LaCourte or LaCourte. Mark Herringer. Herringer. Larry Barnes played a little bit. Josh Redding. There's a Rigo, Rigo Beltron, Kevin Shiretti, John Hamilton. These are all nice autograph cards, too. Chris Richard, Justin Albertson. Um, let's see if it's Fletcher Bates, Jesse Ibarra, Danny Ardoin. Barry Zito, that's a good one. That's the best one by far, Barry Zito. Adam Pyatt had a, um, some Major League time. Joe Youngblood, those are nice. And then we have some autos here of 93 tops. Eddie Christian, um, Willie Brown, Matt Peterson. And then we have some more 20, um, 16, 17, 18, 19 tops cards to finish things off of the Ricky Henderson. So thank you very much for those autographs. That Barry Zito is really nice. Really appreciate that. Sean, thank you very much. This next one is from Tom A. I'll check this out. There's a bunch of unopened wax in here. Opening day hanger pack from 2019. I promise you something special. I don't know if it will make you laugh or cry. I hope you enjoy your friend Tom. Look at all these packs. Got a bunch of uh, 91 Stadium Club in here. Let's see what else. It's all unopened packs. So we'll go through and we'll open a few of these 94 tops. Check those out. Series 2. 2006 tops updates that's pretty awesome 2004 bowman what else do we have in here here's some score from here's the score 93 score it's been so long since i've opened a pack of 93 score 97 tops we also have 92 don ross 89 bowman 93 top series 2 88 star stickers we have a hanger pack of 2019 Don Ross, some superstar collections. Remember those? And then we have some loose cards here. Um, Juan Cedeno, uh, Lou Pinella, 80 tops. Oral Hershiser, Mike Trout, Joey Votto rookie card. That's awesome. Mike Trout and John Waffen. There it is, a John Waffen autographed card. I cannot escape this guy. John Waffen. The legend of John Wathen. If you're, if you're out of the loop, I pulled like 55 John Wathen cards. Three in every pack or so from my box Daddy. opening of 1981 Don Russ. This one kind of is weird because it's never like this on any others. I don't have time to open all those right now, but I picked out a few that we're going to bust open. Let's start with 2004 Major League Baseball from Bowman. And luckily, they're not all sticking together, which is nice. Jorge Posada is a good one. We have a gold parallel Dustin McGowan. Frank Thomas is a good one. Hall of Famer. Bartolo Colon. Everyone knows Bartolo. So not too bad. How about an 88 star stickers from Fleer? Daryl Strawberry on the back. Willie McGee. Dave Rigetti. Milt Thompson. Jeff Reardon. And Daryl Strawberry. How about a 1993 score? It's been a long time since I've opened 93 score. I didn't really buy too many 93 score. Mostly I was buying 93 tops and upper deck. But I did have a few of these. Randy Johnson, Ken Griffey Jr. All-Star team. See the cartoonish looking card there. Tom Glavin, this is a pretty good pack. Kevin Avery, who always made a really weird face whenever he was delivering a pitch. David Segui. Um, let's see if there's anyone else. Kind of went cold there. Commons at the end, but some good cards in there. 97 top Series 1 with Barry Bonds on the front. Bonds was always one of my favorite players. 1990. This might have been the last year I ever collected cards. I did have a bunch of these ones in my personal collection. 
Um, then I went and stopped collecting for many years until getting back in a few years ago. Nice Mickey Mantle card. I like that one a lot. Mickey Mantle, Norm Charlton, Robert Person, Joey Cora, Jackie Robinson. So this is a pretty decent pack. Jackie Robinson, card number 42 of the set, of course, because he wore 42. 42 is retired throughout Major League Baseball. And we also have this 2006 update pack. I don't think I ever opened a 2006 update pack. I wasn't collecting that. I did open a few 2006 rack packs uh, recently. Let's see if we get any good rookies in here. Um, Bonds passes Babe Ruth. That's a nice card. I like that one. We got a gold card here with Derek Lowe, Brandon Webb, and Carlos Zambrano. Leaders from the Pirates, Jim Tomey. And some more leaders from the Cubs, Zambrano and Pierre. And now we'll do this 2019 pack of Don Ross. We got Ozzy Albies. It's been a little while since we've opened Don Ross. We might have to do another case of these. It's always seemingly lots of good hits in Don Ross. Victor Robles. Yadier Molina. Nice um, card there. Parallel card. Andre Palante, American Pride, Eric Hosmer, Lindor, Bregman, and Duhar Betts. Someone offered me a trade in fantasy, Mookie Betts for Bryce Harper straight up, and I almost did it. I still have to think about it. Would you guys do that one, Betts for Harper straight up? Both of them are kind of um, struggling a little bit. Betts is hitting like 200, Harper's hitting like 250. Both have, um, I think they both have three home runs, but I don't know. Seems like a fair trade. It's pretty even, so I'm really just, I'm really not sure. It's like I'm gonna be replacing bets with someone that's the exact same position and everything, so I am undecided. Let me know what you guys think. All right, we've got three left to go. This one is from Thatcher Carroll. So Thatcher Carroll, thank you very much for submitting something on Fan Mail Friday. Inside, we have a bunch of packs. We got Pirates cards. We've got Indians cards. We've got any team cards. And we've got 2019 opening day pack and an Aroldis Chapman rookie card. And let's check out the note. The note says, Hi, my name's Thatcher, and I've been watching your channel for a month now, and I've been loving every video. I really wanted to contribute to a Fan Mail Friday, and so I sent you some of my cards. If there is any relic that you do not mind giving to me, can you please give me one? Today I have my best baseball game ever. I was 3 for 4 with 5 RBIs, and my average is now 464. Uh, thank you for what you do, and I'm a huge fan. Well, that's a great game, and um, you're having a great season. And thank you very much for the cards that you sent. Let's uh, check them out. Oh, there's an unopened opening day pack in there also. I kind of like um, lopped off the corner there when I was opening that. Got an opening day Oakland out Bryce Harper. You say Kikuchi, rookie card is a good one. Thank you for those. And here is the Aroldis Chapman rookie card. Check it out. That's a really nice card. Thank you for that. Really like that card. I think I only have one of it. So um, that's definitely going to go into personal collection with the other one. That looks like it's in really good shape. This is from the Any Team Cards pack. And these are just various cards from Any Team. Brian Dozier, Lindor, and an 88 Fleer Closers card. So thank you for those. And these are from the Indians and Pirates packs. There's a Joey Bell uh, rookie card in that, that one. Uh, Al Martin. And some more Pirates from the 80s and 90s, including an Andy Van Slyke 92 score. So thank you very much for those cards, Thatcher. All right, this next one is from, I don't know if you can see it, it's from Scott Schulman. Inside, there's a, looks like a binder. It's a big binder with cards inside. Check this out, guys. 1960 Topps cards? Wow. Looks like the entire pirate set from 1960. Holy cow. 
can't be the whole pirate set from 1960. There'd have to be Roberto Clemente in there. Is Clemente really in there? You got Roy Face, who's one of their star pitchers, closing pitcher. Bill Mazeroski, and these are all in really good shape, too. Bob Skinner. Next page. Danny Murtaugh. Rookie star Jim Albright. Dick Grote. He was the 1960 NL MVP. Holy cow. Scott, this is awesome. This is something I would totally pick up at a flea market. Um, this is really, really nice. No way. The Bob, Bob Clemente, Roberto Clemente's in here. Right there. Holy cow. And it's, it's taped down to keep it in there from sliding out. But let's, let's get a closer look. Roberto Clemente, 1960 tops. It's in really good condition, too. Let's check out this note. I'm in shock. I'm literally in shock. Um, here we go, guys. It says, Happy Friday. I had an idea for a binder, and I thought you might enjoy it and the cards inside. I posted a couple videos about the art and how I made it on my YouTube channel. I hope you can check it out. Don't worry about sending anything back. Thanks again for being awesome. Scott Schulman and everyone, take a minute and go to Reindeer Studios on YouTube and subscribe to them. I would really love to see how they put this together. That is amazing. This is awesome. This is like a pristine binder with an extremely nice condition 1960 Tops Pirate set in here. And um, Scott, I really, really appreciate this. Honestly, I might have like two or three of these cards that people have sent me just here and there on Fan Mail Friday. Just kind of like beat up. But these are all in really nice shape and it's the entire set. There are 27 cards, 27, the entire team set. That is awesome. You're the man, Scott. Everyone, make sure you check out Reindeer Studios and see how he put this together. It's in really awesome condition. And, um, yeah, I think we got our thumbnail for Fan Mail Friday. Scott, really appreciate this. Check out the front. I didn't even look at the front. Check that out. How cool is that? That is the scoreboard from Forbes Field. And there's a Pirates pitcher there. Wow. This is amazing. Scott, there's a lot of extra space in this binder. You might have just given me an idea for a project. Maybe put together like every Pirates team set from 52 to like, I don't know, 79 or something like that. That would be awesome. That is really, really cool. Scott, thank you once again. Reindeer Studios, everybody. Guys, there is more. I was just putting this away. And check this out. He's got a Louisville Slugger branded logo on here. So it looks like a bat. And this is the best part. He's got my autograph on there. That is my legit autograph. Holy cow. How did you do this? Usually I sign stuff. Um, I'm guessing you probably got this from a Patreon note or something like that when I sent you a package for Patreon. Scott, you are an amazing artist. This is, I could never do anything like this. I don't know how you did it. That is absolutely amazing. I don't know what's better, the binder or the cards inside. They're both absolutely off the charts. Amazing. Holy cow. Scott, thank you once again. A million thanks. And now for our last package, it's from Gonzalez. All right, here we go. Got it opened up. Inside, we have the 1992 Score Factory set. Check that out. That is really awesome. This is one of my brother's favorite sets. Wow, thank you very much. I'm trying to see if there's a note in here anywhere. This was back at the height of our collecting. This set is in really nice condition, too. It looks like it might have never even been opened up. How about that? 800, actually 910 cards in the set. That's a bigger set than I thought it was. They got 17 bonus cards in here. Check those out. 
There's also a pack here. Oh, we got the Barry Bonds rookie on the back. I love this card. 87 tops. Usually you can find it for a buck, but I don't care. I love that card. Uh, I think it books like eight bucks in Beckett, but that is, to me, whenever I was a kid growing up, that was one of the, the uh, cards that we would chase after. All right, it says, Jab Shelly, my son and I really enjoy watching your videos. My son Jake is eight years old and wanted to send you and Olivia some cards you may like. I used to collect in the 80s and 90s and introduced my son to collecting last year. He is hooked. He's a Yankee fan, so if you have any Yankees cards you can send, uh, keep up the great videos. And P.S. We recently went to a local card show and won the door prize, which was a 92 score collector set. That same week, we watched a video, and your brother uh, said that 92 score was one of his favorite sets. Yeah, I just mentioned that. My son wanted him to have it. Sorry about, uh, sorry, but we did open it, but everything is in there. I will definitely give that to my brother uh, along with this um, pack that someone else sent him. I'll put it aside for him and uh, he will definitely like that my brother also has a channel it's called the pass is alive um, he does fan mail fridays also but this past week he wasn't able to do it because nobody sent him anything so check out the past is alive if you enjoy the videos i do with my brother and um check him out check out this by the way denny's hologram of andy van slyke i think i need that one 89 andy van slyke Love that card and some Barry Bonds cards. So a very nice package. I really appreciate those. I'll give these ones to Olivia. I'll put those in her pile over here. And with that, that is the end of Fan Mail Friday. Thank you once again, everyone that sent stuff in. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a great Easter weekend um, and the rest of your Friday night. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody.